morning says from the 122nd division of Psalms. And it simply reads, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. For Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions sake, I will now say, peace be with thee. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, we seek thy good. Gracious Lord and our Father, we do thank you now. For we know that your peace reaches out unto us. We simply ask that your peace will abide in this place in your presence, Lord God, in the house of the Lord. Father, we continue to pray that you will bless the voices and they continue to bring praises unto your name, Lord God. We simply ask that you will bless the woman of God as she prepares to bring the word of God to the people of God. And Father, we ask that you will give her the special anointing this day that truly makes preaching easy. Father, and the words that she will speak will fall on the very good ground. And it will be edified unto your name. Father, take charge of this service. Have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is time to allow the word to penetrate into the spirit man. Yes. When it say fall on good ground, yes. that means that the seeds that the pastor has planted into you will take a root. And it will grow. So when people see you, they will know that you are a child of God. And that your life ain't just like the world. I got a couple calling us from Florida and, and wanted my wife and I to counsel them. Here's the thing about it. I can't counsel them. Because the very thing that they said six months ago is the only thing that they say today. So to, cheat, to see change, you got to listen to the instructor. If somebody has something for you and their life speaks volume and says, I know what I'm talking about, not only hear what they say, but you got to listen to separate things. So it is time out for us to do the ritual. Yes, yes, hallelujah. The religiosity. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it, we don't need to be like the Pharisees. Yes. They knew the word. Yes, yes, hallelujah. But didn't always do the word and yes. live the word. Yes. So it's time out for the same thing. Hallelujah. It's time to be about God's work and his yes. business.
Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go, lie down, and it shall be, if ye call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. O Samuel, so Samuel went and laid down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called it as at the other time, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant heareth. Our subject today, he knows your name. Amen. He knows your name. Amen. Dear Father God, in my name of Jesus, I pray that these words will resonate on ears that will hear. I repent, dear Father, before the body, because I didn't want to do what you told me to do at the end of this word. And as usual, you get my attention quick and sure. So, dear Father God, I will do what you have told me to do, and I will say what you have told me to say. Like Samuel, <laughs> make my word sure. This is my prayer, dear Father God. Order my steps and order my word in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah and amen, amen, and amen. Please be seated. Give a hand clap of love for our musicians as well. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yolanda and I was cleaning out a storage room this uh, um, on Friday, and I saw a lot of things that that belonged to one Lord in storage. And one of those were the note cards that say notes for the sermon. So I always say that this is a teaching ministry. So if you need something to write on, then there's a clipboard at each end. There's a clipboard in the back. So instead of having to use your panel cards that you can be used as evangelism tools, then feel free to reach over for a clipboard or raise your hand and someone will get you something. Because sometimes if you just get the scripture and read and chew on the scripture later on during the week, that can be a blessing to you. Hallelujah and amen. As I said in my introduction, God is not a man. He cannot lie. He has to adhere to his own principles. 
His principles were established in Genesis 1. If I will it, it must be spoken. And if it's got to be spoken, then I'm authorized to get into your world. Then I'm authorized to get into your business. Then I'm authorized to do something in this earth that I desire to do. So when he's ready to make a change, when he's ready to make a shift, he calls you by name. He calls you by name. Abraham, Abraham, leave your father and your mother. I'm going to send you to a land that you know not of. Abraham said, I'm old, Lord. I I'm old. But he didn't question him. He went on. And he went on to this land and that land and this land and that land. And, and, and later he said, Abram, Abram, I'm going to change your name to Abraham. He says, you've done everything that I've asked you to do. And I'm going to come to righteousness. So I'm going to change your name from Abram to Abraham. Instead of me calling you father, I'm going to call you father of many nations. And yes, you will have Isaac. But we overlooked the fact that he had eight other sons after Isaac. And so, Kiki and Vicky, there would be no goodbye if it weren't for Abraham. Because his eight sons went and took that whole territory. And they were able to do that because he answered when God called his name. Moses, Moses, take your shoes off. The priest of standing is holy ground. But Lord, I, I'm uneducated. The, 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 the Lord, I, I can't talk. The, 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 the Lord, you can't use me. He says, I send somebody to help you. And Moses gave him his yes. And because Moses gave him his yes, the children of Israel who were in bondage for 430 years are now free. And in May 14, 1948, they got their own country, their own sovereign rule. Because Moses, somewhere about 5,000 years ago, said yes when Jesus, God, called his name. Mary, Mary! You're blessed of women. I'm going to give you a child by the Holy Spirit. Lord, how can that happen? How can that be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And you will deliver a child and his name will be Jesus. Lord, I don't understand. I would be it unto me. Mary, Mary. Say, I'm a child. I don't understand this thing. But I'm going to say yes. Peter said, this you are the Christ. He said, Peter, you will no longer be called Simon, but you are now the rock. God knew his name. Paul threw him off a horse. Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? He knew his name. Jesus, Jesus, that's my son down there. His name is Jesus. Who am I? I am in well pleased. Even Jesus didn't even understand everything God was doing on the earth. But he needed Jesus to say yes so that that thing could be done. He said, nevertheless, let your will be done. He says, Everything you see me do, I don't do. My father does. I'm doing this because he's told me to say it and to speak it so that you will know what to do. Anytime a shift is about to occur in the earth, God needs to call your name. I didn't come to preach today. I didn't come to give a one, two, three, four, five sermon. I came to release something that he told me to release today. <coughs> I came to call names 
today. God wants to do a new thing on the earth. He told me to do this. He gave me a dream this week. And I let it fly over my shoulder. And then I heard that still forward voice, still small voice, and saw that vision. And I, in my ignorance, said, Lord, if you really want me to do this thing, then I need you to give me another sign like Gideon. I, I ain't going to do this unless you, because I ain't going up there and say, would you just say it would I, unless you give me some more proof. I went on upstairs to my room last night about nine. In five minutes, he chastised me. And I heard that voice say, are you going to do it now? And I said, Lord, I hear you. And I'm going to go back downstairs and do what you told me to do. I said, Lord, just don't let it be all night because I do have to get up in the morning. He was gracious. So I came here today to say God knows your name. I came here today to say that thing which I saw years ago, I now see. God takes you from glory to glory to glory. He lets you mess up and gives you a little chew on and then he downloads a little bit more and then he downloads a little bit more. He had to let me mess up on that thing a couple of times. Until I knew that I knew that I knew that I knew what I was, he was saying. So I'm gonna call seven names. <laughs> it's not a certain. Abraham said I'm too old. Moses said I'm not intelligent enough. Mary said I don't understand. Peter said, I ain't perfect and I got a tip and I got an attitude. Paul was religious. He said, if it doesn't go that way, let me help you out. But when God called their name, he gave them an option to say yes or say no. Okay. I'm not asking for your yes or your no. I'm just being obedient to put out into the atmosphere what God has said. Samuel was living in his church house all his life. And the word of God in 1 Samuel 3rd chapter 7 verse said, he didn't even know about God. He'd been serving all his life and he didn't even know about God. But fortunately, when God called his name, he was in a prophetic house. Eli may have been messing up. Eli may have been letting stuff go on in his household that shouldn't have been happening, but he was still a prophet of God, and he still understood what was going on. So even though Eli didn't recognize that God had called him, Eli didn't recognize that God had chosen him, he was still fortunate enough to be around somebody who understood God's ways yes. to magnify you. Let them do this unto your glory. Your glory, God. Your glory, God. Your glory, God. Your glory. Remove doubt out their minds. Instructed by only you from the woman of 